You guys know that during the fishing event, Hypixel actually secretly added some updates. They secretly added some updates that not a lot of people know. But here in this video, I'll be talking about those secret updates that was added during this fishing event. And also, yeah. So basically, let me explain. The fishing event aka fishing festival is a event that you can fish up sharks and it drops cool items like this shark scale armor. You can craft it by upgrading sponge armor. You can check all the recipes in the fishing recipe. And here's all of those things that you can get during the fishing festival. So in this video, I'll be talking about the secret update that has been added during the fishing festival. The, the first secret update is that they changed the talisman. So if you look at the recipe book, fishing recipes, and there's actually a shark tooth talisman. It gives strength and also grants you extra chance of getting shark teeth during the fishing festivals. And guess what? Originally, the testament only gives strength but not extra chance of getting teeth, and they added it during the second fishing festival. The next secret update is that this one is actually quite important, okay? They actually changed flying fish. They buffed flying fish, and it's now OP. Okay, look at this. So my friend Michelle McQuarrie, aka Che, he lent me this level 100 flying fish. Originally, the first ability increases fishing speed by 15% at level 100, but now it increases the fishing speed by 40%. 40%. I fish sea creatures way faster than using a dolphin, and the secret chance is already decent when I'm using a shark armor. I personally think that the flying fish is actually better than dolphin after this buff. If you guys already got dolphin, you guys can still use dolphin. But if you haven't get any fishing pet yet, I would definitely recommend getting a flying fish because and also the third ability increases the stats of diver armor. At max level, you get three sea creature chance per piece from diver armor. And shark gives you 2.5. So basically, diver set gives you better sea creature chance. But of course, if you're using dolphin, you get higher sea creature chance but slower fishing speed. And also, if you use the flying fish, you don't have to fish as a group. You can fish at like the barn by yourself, and then you don't have to like get a lot of players around you. So I'd say flying fish is actually better than dolphin pet. And you can also put a washed up souvenir on the flying fish, which gives it more sea creature chance and fishing speed. So yeah, if we go to the auction house, you can see that flying fish it's actually quite cheap. A legendary flying fish level 1 is only 2 mil. Wait, it's 1.5 mil. It is so cheap and it's so good for fishing. I don't know why people aren't buying it. Yeah, I got mine on the auction house as well. And I'm selling it but no one's buying it because it, it keeps get, getting lower and lower the price. Flying fish, they buff it. It's OP, okay? Now it's 40% fishing speed. Hey, hey there. Do you guys want to make money from bits? Do you guys want to get a lot of bits? Do you guys want to get rich? Do you guys want to get some free Skype or gems maybe from some giveaways? Um, I would recommend you guys joining a Discord server called Discord. In this Discord server, they offer you service for you to farm bits. You can buy items from the bit shop and use the service and you can resell those items to make profit. For example, if you buy the surface from Bitscord to farm bits, you guys can buy ultimate carrot candies and then you can resell it for profit. The prices are quite cheap for using the surface of grinding bits. The link is also in the description. It's a Discord server, very cool. They also do some donator giveaways. If you guys want to make some money and grind bits, Check out this code. The link is in the description. Continue the video. The third secret update is that if you are there during the first fishing festival and if you already got the shark scale armor, when you upgrade it from sponge armor to shark armor, the armor stays in yellow. But if you look at the recipe, it should be blue. So yeah, this is a kind of secret change. They fix it during the second update. Now, if you craft the shark armor, it turns into blue. If we go to the auction house, you can see that those armor pieces are most likely blue, some of them are yellow, mine is yellow because I crafted during the first event. So now the yellow armor is now more exclusive, but the blue armor is more common now. Now the fourth secret changes. They actually added a new pet to the shark event, Megalodon pet. You can also call it as the shark pet. 
if you go to the auction house, you can see there's these Megalodon pet on the auction house. Um, these are the abilities. The first ability is you basically deal more damage when your enemy is low health. And also increases the stat of the shark armor. The third ability is like combo. You deal more damage when you kill a mob. You gain 50 strength at max level. He's a preview of the level 100 pet. And now to the fifth update, before they released this pet, it originally was another ability. It increases the chance of getting tooth instead of combo. You can see it on screen right now. They changed it before they released it. Why did they change it? Because they added the chance to get tooth in the talisman instead of the pet. And yeah, they actually secretly changed it. Doctor posts about it on the Twitter. You can also check it out. The link is also in the description. The sixth secret change is that they increased the chance of getting shark tooth from 5% to 8%. And if you got a talisman, it multiplies by that percentage. So for example, if I got a legendary talisman, basically 8 times 1.25, that's the new chance. You get a higher chance to get tooth now. You can also sell the tooth at the bazaar. It sells for quite a decent amount of money. And yeah, way more easier to get tooth now. The seventh... A secret change is that they increased it, the XP you get from sea creatures and this has already been implemented during the community center update before the shark event. Some of you guys might not know but you get fishing XP way easier than before now. You can get 35% more XP from sea creatures than before which is pretty poor and if you got expertise you get even more sea creature um, chance and also XP during fishing. And now to this last secret change do you know that if you upgrade your fishing rod to the world of sea it keeps all the enchants it keeps all the operative books it keeps the reforge and also if you recombobulated your world of legends it keeps it as well so it turns into mythic world of sea and if you want to craft the world of sea you can check the recipe here go to recipe book fishing go to the last page world of sea you need four great white shark tooth and also 4 enchanted shark fin it's not that expensive it's like 15 mil 15 mil and you get like 2% more sea creature chance and also 5% faster fishing speed i would recommend you guys getting the world of sea first before the talisman because it's more useful and yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video and that's it so let me conclude it they basically buff flying fish they add a new sea creature and also they added this shark armor they buffed the talisman it now increases the chance for you to get shark tooth they also buff fishing you get more easier fishing xp now i'll see you guys in the next video Leo is gay confirmed. <gasps>